Hockey. On Joy. From battling giant pythons to posing for Playboy, there's a whole lot more to our next guest than just the chart-topping song from 1987. I think we're alone now. She's touring Australia and at the moment with the other 80s hitmakers, Banana Rama and as well as Amber. We're delighted to welcome live into the Joy Studios, American singer, songwriter as well as actress, known worldwide only by her first name. Of course, it's Tiffany. Hello. Thank you for having me here. I'm so excited. Thank you. Uh, uh, Wow, girl, like where do we start looking back at your career and uh, you know, 30 years and what grabbed me a nine year old singing at the legendary Palomino Club right. which was always known as a bit always had a bit of a rough edge to it a bit of a honky it, tonk it was a honky tonk through yeah. and through yes it was <laughs> I was in and out boy I wasn't allowed to stay in the clubs but yes I started at nine, um, nine. country and western music is what I sang at that time it's what was played in my house in Norwalk California back in America and you know I mean I just wanted to sing it really was uh, I sang all the time around the house. I annoyed everyone. And my grandfather was constantly giving me cookies to shut up <laughs> or ice cream. And my mom was, please, please, honey, please, let me just have a minute. So I was, so, you know, I was kind of annoying. And then at the age of nine, um, my, my parents' friends who had, you know, a record, but they were all independent, you know, old school, just going out on the road, kind of going from honky tonk to honky tonk. They had a go away party, um, send off party. And my girlfriend, who was, you know, my mom, my parents, of course, they were best friends and stuff. And they all got up and they played the piano and sang. And my dad said, well, you like to sing. (laughs) You know, I think it was just bonding me off of them on the party. And then that was it. Everybody went crazy. They were like, you have to do something with her voice. She really can sing. And then it was word of mouth. They they just started instructing my parents because my parents didn't know anything about the music industry or no one else in my family has this crazy talent or wants to be out in the public eye. Um, But I I always did. I mean, I was a dancer at two years old and I just love to perform and this is just what I'm meant to do, I guess. Well, wow. I mean, because I was reading that. I mean, it, straight after that, you know, you somebody saw you there and signed you on and next yes. minute you're on TV performances, oh, yeah. you're, you're running around and you're still this young young little girl. Oh, I, I got signed to, to MCA at 14. So that, that was crazy. the beginning of the professional. And by 15, I was traveling the world and number one records and yes. number one album. And, yeah, you yeah. know, I mean, I just, I'm very lucky. First of all, I'm very, very lucky. Because I did read that, that, you know, I think you're alone now. When they first bought that to you, you kind of poo-pooed the song. Well, it sounded like, you know, ch- ch- children behave. <laughs> and I was like, oh my, what, what are we doing <laughs> with this? And then um, the track came back and, you know, I really wanted to show that I could sing yeah. um, and my idols at the you know still now but at the time who heavily influenced me were Stevie Nicks Fleetwood oh, Mac yeah. Bob's heart um, you know so I was a rocker at heart and then you give me this dun 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 I was like I just kind of knew that I'd get stuck in dance world. Not that that was a bad thing, but I didn't know if it would really show that I could sing. So songs that could have been, you know, big ballads and things all this time kind of padded it for me. That at least showed that I can sing. And I'm still out there showing that I can sing, though, which is great. You know, I have a new album out, Pieces of Me. Check out TiffanyTunes.com, everybody. (laughs) And I want to say thank you to everybody who is making a resurgence to I Think We're Alone Now. Currently, I'm on iTunes everywhere Everywhere. around the world, blowing up with yeah. I Think We're Alone Now and the new version of I Think We're Alone Now, which is a re-record dance thing. Yes. But uh, ironically enough, I've been in the studio just in the last couple of weeks before I came here doing a new version of I Think Ooh. We're Alone Now. So that'll be coming out again. Uh, uh, but it's a little, you know, we've stayed true to the record, but we've added some guitars, which is like lovely. the new version of the Tiffany new. of what I'm doing. I was 17, sneaking into my first gay club <laughs> and your song and that in those days. So this was 1988, 89. It was played in every gay, Everywhere. every gay club. We we knew it off by heart. We all did it. We used to even try and copy you in a little denim and jacket. And I still do the dance you know, moves. Like, so when you come to the show, <laughs> everyone come to the show um, that we're having here. Um, and, you know, I, I still do the moves. So, you know, if you want to get up and do the moves with me, Excellent. it still exists. Um, but I really am all smiles this morning with all the news from the resurgence of I Think We're Alone Now. Just like, I, you know, things just happen. They uh, The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. 
Netflix yes. has just kind of put yes. it in one of their scenes and it's been blowing up. So I, I wake up every morning now just all smiles. What's next? Yeah. 15 million <laughs> views on YouTube. Isn't that insane? I know. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> like you've done so, so well. I mean, it puts a little pressure on me for hair and makeup now. They're like, what you looking like <laughs> now? Sweetie, you girl? have not <laughs> aged. Let me tell you, you not haven't well, aged at you. all. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's good. You know, lots of love. I, I love what I do. I love the fans. Um, and I'm so thrilled to, again, have new music now, Pieces of Me. Mm. And, and I think it is one of the best albums I've ever recorded. So yeah. I'm so excited to reminisce with fans because I'm very yeah. proud of old school. I would never turn my back on it. You're always going to hear me sing. I think we're alone now could have been. But it's great to also be a writer and producer now and get everybody involved in the new stuff. Well, so exciting to have a new fan base as well like exactly. me. Exactly. I wasn't even alive when I know. that thing came out. Isn't that insane? Welcome to my world. It's a crazy <laughs> one, but I'm fun. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited for the new album as well. Well, thank you. Because, I, I, I mean, I, I, I've always been a fan of Tiffany and, and we go through. So I've gone through, like, you've had your 10 studio albums. Yes. Of course, we started off with the pure pop. Do you right. know, we went through. And then I can see the 2000, The Colour of Silence was a very darker sound. I, I can think of like maybe Alanis Morissette, right. that was that whole thing. Then we move off to 2005 and it's just full on dance beats. So you're yes. singing, then we go to a country album. Right. And so, so what's the new sound? Well, I mean, all of it tells a story and that's what I've been doing. Um, so it has been strategic and a lot of people would say, oh, well, you've just been releasing all these different albums. No, um, you know, the dance stuff was great because producers reach out to me yep. and why not I mean you know any interest in anything I can learn as a singer as a again a songwriter as a producer and work with top producers of course I'm going to say yes and you know again it's it's thrilling for me when people are interested so they've all been experiences to grow and service my fans yeah. who love dance music and get out there on the dance floor yeah. you know and have a good time the country album Rose Tattoo was really again about the backstory of Tiffany people don't know that I you know have been working since I've been nine and I realized that I kind of never went back and said thank you to a lot of people who really believed in me um, and just let me jam with their band. So that was a thank you album, really, to all the people like Hoyt Axton and May Axton and people who just believed in me. I mean, even though I didn't get signed and didn't get a record deal, but I thought that it, you know, you should go back and just say thank you to people who believed in you. But you were so and young. I think the fans would love it. You were so uh, yeah, young. I, I mean, was only what, you 14 can't be when I all when you, you when know, it you're all in this happened. Whirlwind. Yeah. But I mean, you know, moving back to Nashville, Tennessee, where I reside now, you know, and having all those people back in in my life, I thought, you know, and I need to do something to say, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the mall tour. And just going back and saying yeah, thank you and telling the story because it is really a great story. And I think that now with the new album, Pieces of Me, you will hear a little country in my voice, a little pop in my voice. Those things are ingrained in me as a singer. They don't go away. But the new sound is a little bit like... Think of Blondie Go-Go's meets the Foo Fighters. Ooh, so it's very retro fantastic. and fun. But, you know, yeah. again, we have a little bit of that rock element that I've wanted to do for a while. Probably we started in that genre for Color of Silence. So we're just picking up where we left off and taking it to a little bit more retro fun Go-Go's kind of vibe. The Go-Go's were a fantastic group. But you need to get involved. Ask, and yeah. Belinda Carlisle's <laughs> was getting a lot of hands yeah. pointed no, yeah, Belinda's <laughs> around. She's in Australia. Hi, Belinda. Yeah. I'm sure she's out somewhere. She's out on tour right now as well. So... Um, you know, it's great to it's great to be you know, paired with these artists, but it's also nice to now be an adult and get to know these ladies. Well, that's what I was going to say. Cause yeah, you, they're you, wonderful women. You were backing. I mean, I'm th going through all these people you know, in London, everywhere, and you were so young, you couldn't have went out and party. I didn't with get them. to hang with anybody. So no. you're coming full now circle. I'm, yeah, now yeah. I'm coming full circle. It's nice to sit down with a glass of wine like an adult and <laughs> talk shop. I mean, usually we don't talk music at all. You know, uh, people talk about their lives, their kids, their their dogs, uh, their vacations. Yeah. So you know, it's it's great though to be able to be amongst my own um, and really and, and them see my heart as well that I've stayed with it and that I love what I'm doing still. Mm. Do they still treat you? like the little girl and no no they, they, no they don't I mean it's you know it's great to know these artists I mean it, it, I'm currently on the road with Bananarama and to have a, a couple cocktails with the girls and just have a laugh mm. they're wonderful they're we wonderful we spoke to women. them the other week and uh, we've always known they like to drink I'm sure there was some they are fun <laughs> and the show is amazing I mean I have to say they go out there the songs one after another you're just like dancing so you know when you do come to our show bring your dancing shoes and be ready for a night of wonderful celebration of music 
Mike. Well, we're definitely going to be there. We're very excited. So, yes. But look, uh, before we go, I want to talk about... You have been to Australia before, your 2018 appearance on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Right. So, come on, let's be honest. What do you think of the Aussies after leaving that? Oh, no, I love the Aussies. What about Definitely. those weak, bloody athletes, Mundine well, and that? I mean, come kind on. Of, they kind of blew it. And Tommy, I was like, yeah. come on, boys. Um, but, you know, it put me in a better position because I was really the first, you know, first official person to go officially off the show. But, I mean, I hung for 19 days and it was great. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I mean, it really was. But I have to say, for me, it did change my life. Um, challenging yourself, growing, it really was real. I did. And, and that's, you know, I don't fly well and that got me going <laughs> um, before the tours and stuff. But also, I made really good friends. Jackie and Shannon... Oh, Oh, good. You know, Fee, all of them are really still my friends, and so I, I, I treasure over that. for a Sunday roast or anything? Well, they- they're, uh, Jackie's out with her book tour right now, so we're hoping to circle back and yep. catch up on this trip. But And, and Shannon, I will be seeing in Sydney, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and I've reached out to all of them. You know, again, it's kind of hard, people's schedules and everything, but I will be back. And, but so what took exciting. you so long to come to Australia? To I mean, this is your first tour This is here. my first time, and I have no clue. I mean, I, I toured extensively in America. America and Europe and Asia and I think the plan was to make it here um, but you know some things happened on personally with my management and stuff like that that I started to kind of go with other people and different things and life changed so and then before I knew it I had a baby yeah. uh, he's 26 now so I'm back on the road and here we go again. That, cause we but th- I'm here now so I'm so excited I seriously I was like giddy <laughs> weeks before I was I haven't stopped smiling and even when I landed here I was like oh, I'm in Australia <laughs> finally finally because it's been something that really I've wanted to do. Well, we're very excited to have you here. I cannot yes. wait for Friday night. I will be at the forum. We'll be awesome. down there. There is not many tickets available left, so you need to be very quick right. if you want to get them. And you can catch Tiffany tomorrow night alongside legendary Banana Rama and Joe Mediva Amber at the Forum Melbourne. And you can check out that out on ticketmaster.com.au for tickets and dates. Yes. Yes. Correct. As well as you can go to your website, Tiffany Tunes, which yes. has got all your old. You, Banana Rama, Amber. Amber, yeah. I tell you what, this amazing. is like a. I'm bringing out my fluoro. I've got oh, my right, bag. We've teased the people too much. So Let's get right really to it. It really is a night of celebration of great music. So come on and hang be. out with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wake up with Tom and Mikey. Thursdays for breakfast on Joy. Tune in to 94.9 in Melbourne. Stream live at joy.org.au or download the Joy app. Find all our podcasts at tomandmikey.com. Subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get podcasts. Joy Podcasts, where you want them, when you want them.